Huku taifa likizidi kujizoazoa baada ya kukumbwa na dhoruba ya janga la corona ambalo linaendelea kuathiriwa Kenya kwa zaidi ya mwaka mmoja sasa wakati ambapo kuna tishio la kuzuka kwa wimbi la nne la maambukizi uchumi nao unazidi kudorora huku serikali ikijaribu kutafuta fedha kuufufua uchumi huo hali huende kawa mbaya zaidi hasa kutokana na tangazo la tume ya SRC la kutoratibu mishahara wafanyikazi wa umma kwa muda wa miaka miwili ijayo the commission is cognizant of the government's financial constraint the current wage bill ratios the need to release resources for investment in the strategic priorities of the government to jumpstart the economic the ravaged the covid-19 ravaged economy akitoa tangazo hilo mwenyekiti Lin Mengich anasema hatua hii itasaidia serikali kuhifadhi fedha zitakazotumika kuufufua uchumi wa taifa consequently one there will be no review of the basic salary structures allowances and benefits paid in the public sector in the financial year 2021-22 to 2022-23 hata hivyo hatua hii huende kachangia ongezeko la migomo miongoni mwa wafanyikazi wa umma kwa miaka kadhaa kumekuwa kukishuhudiwa migogoro kati ya serikali na miungano ya wafanyikazi hususan ile ya walimu NAT na KUPET na wahadhiri uasu kuhusiana na maslahi yao yaliyomo kwenye mikataba ya CBA As we speak today is June 16th and most universities have not paid May salary and as a union we are not taking this lightly and the last CBA was signed in 2016 and the, it is lapsing in on 30th of june that means that we were just trying to forestall uh, a stalemate which is already in existence hata hivyo waziri wa labor simon chuluguya muonyeshe imani kuwa migomo haitashuhudiwa baada ya kutia saini memoranda ya maelewano na miungano ya wafanyikazi hao last year the ministry of labor and social protection signed a memorandum of understanding between the unions i'm happy that between that time when we signed the memorandum and now there has been industrial peace in the country busara naman mwanga wa ebru